So the website that I will be using is called denzoproducts.com and this website will verify the part that will fit my vehicle. I've used this website already so some of the information I put in here is already uh, recorded. First thing I'm going to do here is my vehicle that's entered is a 2000 Honda Civic CX. I'm going to click on the oxygen sensor to verify I know uh, the right part number for my vehicle uh, and the part that's going to plug directly into it is the Denso 234-4099 to verify that this is the correct part number here it will say this part is compatible with your vehicle so I know that this is the correct O2 sensor for my vehicle and and I'm able to either order this online or um, for me um, I'm just gonna run out to the parts store and uh, grab this part okay just picked up my part from the auto parts store before I bought this I wanted to test the ohm on it so I want to test it with the voltmeter okay so one thing is to make sure when you're looking at the top it's this right here where you're gonna press this to release the uh, clip from the, um, the engine harness and I made the mistake by thinking this was the top and this is not the top this clips into the metal so so here we're gonna test pins three and four okay you can see I have the probe the red probe on number three pin and then the black probe on pin four and I'm showing an ohm of 16.4.5 so it's in within spec. It's probably good to just check to see if you have a good O2 before you purchase it. With the battery unhooked, I just wanted to show you guys what, how, what the engine check light did or how it came on. So I'm going to start the car. So you can see that it disappears. Next thing I did here, as I picked up my part, I also rented a O2 sensor socket tool removal so we can remove this O2 sensor. So first thing I'm gonna do here is, um, what's gonna help me is prob probably to remove this heat shield first. For some reason, I didn't think this socket was gonna fit. So you probably don't need to remove this heat shield for, for the header, but I made the mistake and went ahead and did it and ended up breaking a bolt right there. So I just wanted to show you here is the socket and I'm able to get it in there. So let's see if we can remove this this way. So what we'll do here to help us is we'll use some PB blaster. So this is a little tricky. I had to use a breaker bar and I use this socket but maneuvering it in there was pretty tricky but that's what so this is what um, I was able to do to get this O2 sensor out okay now it's tightened down so we'll go ahead and run this cord here this in here and then this didn't have the sleeve to hold this like the old O2 sensor had. Maybe we'll crimp it or something just so it doesn't touch the header. Okay, here's an update. On the old O2 sensor, I went ahead and I cut the rubber sleeve off and put it on the new one because it doesn't come with it. With the OBD2 scanner plugged in, we are going to reset this engine check light. We're gonna erase the codes. Okay, make sure the ignition's on on. And then hit enter. Okay, check lights gone. Okay.
All right, let's see if it just comes on right away like it did last time. Okay, seems like engine check light hasn't came on yet. Um, like I was showing you guys, you guys saw how it just came on right away. Um, I have a feeling this fixed the problem, but just to make sure, you know, drive it around um, and just keep an eye on it and make sure the engine check light doesn't come back on. Check light is still off. So that seemed to solve the problem, guys. But again, drive it around and make sure it doesn't come back on. And uh, there you guys have it. Okay, let me tell you why I stuck with the Denso. Because I'm pretty sure this was the original O2 sensor for this car. Um, as you can see, it also is a Denso. So I went to a local part store and got and was able to get this part right away. And uh, the price wasn't too bad. So, you know, for uh, a Denso, pretty much OE, O2 sensor. So if you guys liked this video and thought this was useful, please hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, please share with someone that has the same issue. And thank you for watching.